Hey, uh, what's going on? Mr. Wheels 2 here. What's up, Wheel Horse Aficionados? That's a nice um, quarter inch uh, coal roll steel. I'm going to be making, uh, found something of interest on my tractor forum. And uh, it's, it's meant for the 48 and 42 inch blades on the uh, Wheel Horse tractors. Um, as well as a 54 inch. It's a uh, 12 and a half inch uh, bar that's uh, got a couple pins in it and allows you to put down pressure on your blade when you're trucking down your driveway. But especially when you get into icy conditions in January, it's really hard. You, you want to be able to push down that lever and get that stuff up, but you can't. So I'm going to show you how to make one of these. Okay, the first thing we want to do, <clears throat> get our measurements on here in this flat bar, and it'll be at 12 and a half. So we're going to start making our line there. Alright, so we have our mark here <clears throat> at 12 and a half. We'll just line this little straight edge up here. Now the next is 11 and a half inch on centers. What do we got? Half, which would be put me at uh, three and a quarter. And a half, a half inch here. In our version of rock paper scissors. clean cut done in uh, pretty short order and uh, it would be ideal if I had a bandsaw to cut it well I do have a bandsaw but it's got a wood blade and that's where we're gonna head down now down to the uh, drill um, press and take care of these 3 8 inch uh, holes okay we're gonna drill this up now and uh, it's really important to uh, put a couple use a scratch all and just hammer a little uh, hole, not a hole, you just make a little indentation there to guide your drill bit in. It's good and sharp, make a nice, nice shavings, and we're through. One of these days I'm going to have to document the loft I built in the garage here. I'm about 200 square feet up there, and I got about 42 inches up there to crawl around and put all the stuff up there. Patio furniture and... Okay, and the other thing you want to you want to do is take your 3 8 inch rod 
and this is where a drill press is certainly going to help and you want to drill your holes for your either cotter pin or um, hitch clip which uh, buy a whole box of them 150 of them for $4.99 at Harbor Freight There we go. Might be hard to see, but here's the finished piece. And uh, I can grind down any of these little these little balls here. I gotta still clean this one up. Um, but here's what it looks like on the back. Nice puddle on the back. This is pretty hot, going right through the glove, but. Um, yeah, pretty cool having a welder. So now we'll uh, try fitting it up.